थ्री फेस सेमी कन्वर्टर थ्री फेस सेमी कन्वर्टर आर यूज इन इंडस्ट्रियल एप्लीकेशन अप टू वन ट्वेंटी किलो वैट लेवल वेर वन क्वार्टर ऑपरेशन इज रिक्वायर्ड द पावर फैक्टर ऑफ दिस कन्वर्टर डिक्रीजेस एज द डिले एंगल और फायरिंग एंगल इंक्रीजेस बट द पावर फैक्टर ऑफ दिस सेमी कन्वर्टर इज बेटर देन दैट ऑफ थ्री फेस हाफ वेव कन्वर्टर फिगर ए शोज थ्री फेस सेमी कन्वर्टर विथ highly inductive load and load current has negligible ripple contents figure b on the right hand side shows the waveform for input voltages output voltage input current and current through thyristors and diodes respectively the delay angle alpha for the given three phase semiconductor can be varied from 0 to 5 so for a duration omega t greater than or equal to pi by 6 and less than 7 pi by 6 as shown in waveform thyristor t1 is forward bias if thyristor t1 is fired at omega t is equal to pi by 6 plus alpha as shown in figure b thyristor t1 and diode d1 conducts and line to line voltage vac appears across the load at omega t is equal to 7 pi by 6 the line voltage vac starts to be negative and here the free wheeling diode denoted by dm starts to conduct the load current continues to flow through free wheeling diode dm and thyristor t1 and diode d1 are turned off if there is no free wheeling diode thyristor t1 would continue to conduct until thyristor t2 is fired at omega t is equal to pi pi by 6 plus alpha and the free wheeling action would be accomplished through thyristor t1 and diode d1 d2 if alpha is less than or equal to pi by 3 each thyristor conducts for 2 pi by 3 and free wheeling diode generated by dm does not conduct so if you consider this duration that is from pi by 6 to 7 pi by 6 that is when thyristor t1 is fired at omega t is equal to pi pi uh, pi by 6 plus alpha then we can calculate the line neutral voltages and it is given by of van is equal to vm sin omega t vbn is equal to vm sin omega t minus 2 pi by 3 and vcn is equal to vm sin omega t plus 2 pi by 3 so these are the line neutral voltages for three phases that is van vbn and vcn now using this line to neutral voltages we can find out the corresponding line to line voltages and these are given by equation vac is equal to van minus vcn which is equal to root 3 vm sin omega t minus pi by 6 vba is equal to vbn minus van is equal to under root 3 vm sin omega t minus pi pi by 
and VCB is equal to VCN minus VBN is equal to under root 3 VM sin omega t plus pi by 2. Here VM is the peak value of phase voltage for star connected source. So these line voltages and neutral voltages are calculated for alpha less than or equal to pi by 3. For alpha greater than or equal to pi by 3 and discontinuous output voltage, the average output voltage can be found out using the waveform shown in figure B. So for alpha greater than or equal to pi by 3, the average output voltage is given by equation VDC is equal to 3 divided by 2 pi integration pi by 6 plus alpha to 7 pi by 6 VAC d omega t. Substituting the value of VAC in the equation, we will get 3, to 3 divided by 2 pi integration pi by 6 plus alpha to integration 7 pi by 6 under root 3 Vm sin omega t minus pi by 6 into d omega t. Solving this integration, we will get the value of average output voltage as VDC is equal to 3 root 3 Vm divided by 2 pi into 1 plus cos alpha. Now, after calculating the average output voltage, the maximum average output voltage that can occur at delay angle alpha is equal to 0. That is when alpha is equal to 0, we get maximum average output voltage. That is the maximum voltage which is generated by VDM will be equal to 3 root 3 Vm divided by pi. Now we have average output voltage VDC and maximum average voltage as VDM. Using these two voltages, we can find out the normalized average output voltage which is given by formula Vn is equal to VDC divided by VDM. Substituting the value of VDC and VDM will get 0.5 into 1 plus cos alpha. After finding the average output voltage, we can find out the RMS output voltage for this three phase semiconductor, which is given by formula VRMS is equal to under root 3 divided by 2 pi integration pi by 6 plus alpha to 7 pi by 6. 3 Vm square sin square omega t minus pi by 6 into d omega t. Solving this, we get VRMS is equal to under root 3 Vm into under root 3 divided by 4 pi into pi minus alpha plus 1 half into sin 2 alpha. So this is the RMS output voltage for the interval pi by 6 plus alpha to 7 pi by 6. For alpha less than or equal to pi, pi by 3, a continuous output voltage can be found out which is given by equation VDC is equal to 3 divided by 2 pi integration pi by 6 plus alpha to pi pi by 6 plus alpha VAC into d omega t. Now substituting the value of VAC, you will get the value of VDC as 3 root 3 Vm divided by 2 pi into 1 plus cos alpha. So when alpha is greater than pi by 3, we get discontinuous mode. And for alpha less than or equal to pi by 3, we get the continuous output voltage. So for this interval, the normalized output voltage is given by equation Vn is equal to VDC divided by dm which will be equal to 0.5 into 1 plus cos alpha and for this continuous interval that is alpha less than or equal to pi by 3 we can find out the RMS voltage given by equation VRMS is equal to under root 3 divided by 2 pi integration pi by 6 plus alpha to pi pi by 6 plus alpha 3 Vm square sin square omega t minus pi by 6 into d omega t 
solving this equation you will, you will get vrms is equal to root 3 vm multiplied by under root 3 by 4 pi into pi minus alpha plus 1 half sine 2 alpha so this is the value of average dc voltage and rms voltage for alpha less than or equal to pi by 3 or continuous mode and when alpha is greater than or equal to pi by 3 we'll get discontinuous mode